In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up budgets and alerts in Azure. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Feraltos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up budgets and alerts in the Azure portal. I'm also going to introduce you to tools used to track and trend Azure spending as part of cost management and billing in the Azure portal. Before we get into that, please take a second to subscribe and always remember, if at first you don't succeed, skydiving may not be for you. The only thing to bring up before getting into the demo is that not all subscriptions are eligible for cost management. I'll add a link to this page below. As you can see, most pay-as-you-go, enterprise agreement, and Azure government subscriptions are all eligible. Cloud solution provider and pay-as-you-go are not eligible for cost management. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up budgets and alerts, export usage data, and review cost analysis and see recommendations from Azure Advisor. Okay, everyone, let's get started with this demo. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Azure Cost Management. And to do that, I'm just going to go over here and we'll do a search. Cost Management and Billing. Let's click on that. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now here you can see I've got three subscriptions and uh, two of them are disabled and one of them is my primary one for my home lab or test lab. So I also have over here on the left is the subscriptions. I've got invoices where I can view and download past invoices. I can update my contact information, billing address, as well as payment method. That's not what I'm going to be digging into though today. Uh, you can take a look at those. They're pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go into cost management. Here we go. So you can see right away my scope is set to pay as you go, which is good because the other two are disabled. And the first thing I'm going to do is come down to budget. And this is my budget. So I have one already on my pay as you go subscription for $100. And you can see right now I'm at 27% of that being 27.87 US dollars. I know I'm a big spender. Although this amount may not be a whole lot for enterprises, uh, it is for me because this is all coming out of my pocket. But I think you'll be able to see how this information is useful if it's $100, 1000 or 10000 So with that, I'm going to create a new budget by clicking on Add. You can assign multiple budgets to a subscription. Uh, probably not a whole lot of reason to do that, but for a demo, uh, it's pretty convenient. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in a name and I'll do, I'm going to set this one to 200. And notice right away, if I try to put a space in there, it won't let me. So I'll just do 200 budget. And I'm going to change the amount to, whoa, look at that. I'm going to change the amount to 200 and billing. Okay. So invoices aren't produced on a calendar month. Uh, they're on a billing month. I can reset this amount uh, by month, quarter, or year. In my case, this is going to be $200 per invoiced month. I could also make it $600 for a uh, billing quarter, or I can move on to whatever my set billing year amount is. Uh, I can also do that by calendar month if I didn't want invoice month. But I'm just going to leave this at billing month. So we'll leave that there. And the expiration date. So this budget will expire at some point in the future. Let's go 22. And down here, I'm going to set some alert conditions because I've got it set to $200 now. And I may want to know when I'm starting to approach that or how be able to track my progress over the month of how my spend's going. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a budget amount of 75%. That's going to be $150. If you have an Azure Alert Action Group set up, you can select it. I do have a couple, but those are for something else. So I'm just going to leave that blank. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a second budget amount of, well, let's just go down and put in an email address. So quit yelling at me. Um, I'm going to put in my personal email address. Okay. So now I'm going to come back up here. Now that I got rid of all that red. And I'm going to go to 90 so that's $180. So at 75% or $150, and at 90% or $180, I'm going to get an alert. And you can put in multiple recipients if you need to for that alert. So now I'm going to hit, well, let's go down and see. No, nothing else down there. Now I'm going to hit Create. 
and there is my budget. My $200 budget is at half of my $100 budget, which really makes a lot of sense. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go to cost alerts. And it's really blurry. So the reason why is because I have a handy masking tool on. Let me just turn that off. And this is showing a past alert. So over the last 30 days, I've had one alert when I hit 80% on my pay as you go. So that is what an alert looks like. So you can go in here to see any outstanding alerts that you have. Next, I'm gonna go into cost analysis. The default view for cost analysis is gonna give a projection of your budget and when it thinks you're gonna hit or exceed that budget. And you can see here around July 21st, it's telling me I'm gonna to start to exceed my budget at my current spend rate. Now, I don't know if you can see this very well, but over here around July 7th, it started to flatline. So I'm gonna change this to, let's say daily, and I'm gonna, re I'm gonna group by resource type, and I'm gonna change this from a column to area. Let's just change this uh, date as well. I wanna do the past 30 days. There we go. Okay, so what's happening here is remember I flatlined? See this big green chunk here? So we gotta figure out what that is because that's what was costing me a lot more than normal. And if I go down here, we have the different color codes, but I'm having a hard time distinguishing which one is which. So you can simply shut them off. Well, I knew it wouldn't be forecast cost, but okay, so there it is. So if I turn that off, I can see it removes that amount from the total. And that is for Bastion host. So I had a little bit of a spend outside of the ordinary because of the last video I did, which was on Azure Bastion. And that cost me, I think it was about six bucks total. Oh, nine dollars. Here it is. Uh, here you can see uh, we have uh, some donut charts with service name, location, and resource group name. So these are really handy. It's just another breakdown of the same date range. So I want to do uh, change up the view a little bit. I'm going to go the past 12 months and I'm gonna change it to monthly. And here you can see I had quite a peak here around December. If we click on disks, uh, we can see that that goes away. So it was disks that were causing all the higher expense. Somebody had posted a comment that they wanted to see more real world examples. And this is definitely a real world example. So uh, I was doing some virtual machine ARM template deployments and I changed the disk type from standard to manage disks. And I was also doing uh, multiple servers with multiple data disks. And what I found out is those are billed at a set rate, not as a consumption-based rate. And that accumulated a lot faster than I had planned. January is when I learned about that and uh, I decided to put alerts on my budget. So that is definitely a real world example. I guess that was my Christmas present to myself. So there's a lot of options on how you can view this data uh, by location, by billing period resources, resource group name, tags. If you're using tags, which is a good idea, you can break it down here, that becomes really helpful. The next thing I'm gonna do is export the data. So when I click export at the top, I can either download it as Excel or CSV. I'm gonna leave it as Excel and we'll download that data. And I can open it up in Excel now. And here I'll just do this. So now we have the uh, usage date, resource type, service name, and pre-tax cost. So you can pull this into any other tool that you may want to use and start to slice and dice that and do some analytics on it. Another option and something I did in a previous video was to send the Azure spend information into log analytics. Then I use Grafana, which is an open source data visualization program to pull that data in from log analytics and track it visually from Grafana. So that's another option. If you're interested in that, I'll include a link to that up above. The last thing I'm gonna go over is advisor recommendations. Now I don't have a lot here. I do have one though. It says that I could buy a reserved instance and save $268. If you have a larger environment, you'll surely see a lot more of these, but basically a reserved instance means you pay in advance for the time you're gonna use. Advisor recommendations are gonna give you hints on how to save money, which is a good deal. Uh, you should definitely go in and look at that. So that's it. That's how to set up budget and set up alerts on your budget, view cost alerts, analyze and export data, and view advisor recommendations. It's as easy as that. Now you have no reasons to be surprised when the Azure bill comes. Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.